Today I'm going to be talking about the dark secret about Mr. Krabs. I'm sure a lot of you know who Mr. Krabs is. You know, the owner of the famous restaurant known as the Krusty Krab. The guy who literally does anything for money. And also a murderer? What? Now a lot of you might think I'm crazy by saying this, but I have the proof to prove that Mr. Krabs is a murderer. A lot of you might know that Pearl is the daughter of Mr. Krabs. But the big question is, where's Pearl's mother? In the show, there's absolutely zero footage of Pearl's mother. So the question is, where is she? Well, what if I told you that Mr. Krabs killed her? In the episode Krusty Krab Training video, there's a part in this episode where the narrator says something about Mr. Krabs, which is important to this theory and something you need to remember. Here it is. After the war, Krabs stayed secluded in a deep depression that seemed endless. After the war. Yep, you heard that right. Krabs was in a full-on war. And the war that he was in left him in a big stage of depression, which seemed endless. Well, actually, Pearl's mother is only referenced in all the episodes when Mr. Krabs says this. <laughs> mother of Pearl! Mother of Pearl. And Mr. Krabs only says that when something bad or terrible happens. And that foreshadows that Mr. Krabs killed Pearl's mother. Now back to the war. The war was between de-evolved fish and evolved fish. De-evolved fish was once SpongeBob, Patrick, and all of his friends. That's what they used to look like. And there was an episode that showed the evolved versions of our friendly aquatic animals. And once Pearl turned into a big whale, it was huge, like whales are supposed to be. And the cause of all this was because of a green sun, also known as Neptune's moon. Still not convinced? Well, take a look at some of the pictures that's in Mr. Krabs' house. A picture of a big whale. And look at that little tiny boat. This whale is what Mr. Krabs encountered during the war. And he killed the whale. Which was Pearl's mother. And the harpoon that he used to kill Pearl's mother is right there on his wall. And the reason why Mr. Krabs was suppressed after the war is because he knows what he's done to Pearl's mother and is haunting him. The fact that he killed Pearl's mother is haunting him. So he decided to adopt Pearl instead of leaving her left to die. Which was nice of Eugene Krabs, but something that wasn't nice of Eugene Krabs was to literally use Pearl's mother's meat as the Krabby Patty secret formula. And the reason why that makes sense is because Mr. Krabs has a lifetime supply of Krabby Patties. And if you're still not convinced, well, in the episode Sleepy Time, Mr. Krabs had a dream where he was fishing for a big dollar known as the Moby Dollar. Which is a direct reference to Modi Dick, which was about hunting a whale. A lot of you might know that we don't see many crabs around Bikini Bottom at all. Except for in one episode where there's a big competition and a lot of crabs intend to it. But what if I were to tell you that that takes place before Mr. Krabs himself decides to kill every single crab that's left. In one episode, Mr. Krabs eats a Krabby Patty and says, Hmm, so that's what I taste like. So he basically cooked his fellow crab friends. Wow, Mr. Krabs, you are a cannibal. Now, this theory is probably wrong. If the well theory is right, then yeah. But anyways, that is why we don't see any other crabs at all. And also, the Krusty Krab looks like a crab trap. And that's another reason why Mr. Krabs killed his fellow crab friends. And that's Mr. Krabs' dark secret. If you enjoyed, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!